What is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Bell video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. This is a really fun match against one of my great rivals here on Twitter. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, you should. It's a nice community. You can ask me for battles and whatnot. And besides, there's a large community growing up there. Uh, but anyway, so Jason and I, the last time we battled was in Black and White 2. So, a long time ago, but it's, it's nice to have a nice reunion. I could have said that in a much better fashion, but I did not, so... Whatever, we're moving on. I said things kind of weird there. But, uh, this was originally going to be a Halloween special. Because, look at my opponent's team. All ghost types. Perfect for Halloween. But, I did not have enough time to narrate or actually post the gosh darn battle and whatnot. So, on my side here, I'm using a team around Swiss Scarf. Malamar, and I believe you guys saw me use one in my previous battles versus, I believe, against Stephanie, and it worked out, so again, I'm just going to try using him. Pairing up with Choice Scarf Malamar, I've got Mega Caesar, I've got Defensive Milotic, I've got Flygon with the Wise Glasses, uh, Sharp Beak, um, Talonflame, and then Sylveon. The main threat, I guess the only threat I see against Jason's team is going to be Destiny Bond and uh, Will Wisp and Sucker Punch from the likes of, well, Destiny Bond we see from Frostlass and Miss Magus, Will Wisp from Chandelure and Cofagrigus. Sucker Punch from Spiritum and uh, Duskinor. So, this is going to be a great battle, of course. I mean, you can't go wrong. So, thank you, Jason, for challenging me. If you guys enjoyed this battle, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe at the end of this video. So, I'm going to start with my red blade, the Mega Caesar. This particular Caesar, I like using a choice band on him, but since I've decided to use a Mega on this team of mine, I'm just going to make it Mega. And it's, it's pretty similar in terms of power, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, let's just go Mega and just be done with it. I wasn't sure what the Spirit Tomb was going to do, so I go into Town Flame. He goes for the Calm Mind, and it's, I guess, you know what, guys? Spirit Tomb is unpredictable because... You sometimes see a defensive set. You see uh, Adamant, Nature, Spiritum. You see Calm Mind, as we see here. And, uh, yeah, clearly he's more especially inclined as he does not take a Brave Bird from Talonflame. Here's Miss Magus. I could have gone with another Brave Bird, but just in case it didn't work out. I'm going to switch out into Sylveon. I, I don't know. I think he predicted me to switch out there because if I were to stay in with Talonflame, I would, uh, it, it would be not be super effective against Talonflame. He goes for Icy Wind after that, and uh, I guess that works out because, you know, if I was faster, then I wouldn't be because the speed is lowered there. Then he shows me Energy Ball, so he's trying to hit my Angel, but this particular Sylveon has Max HP and Max Special Defense. I go for Toxic and, like, it worked out because I hit it and it's gonna make things a lot easier. I go into Kronos, the Choice Scarf Malamar, because it's pretty much checkmate to everything on his team. So I was like, hooray, let's go ahead and use Night Slash and end everyone's career. But he pulls off a Destiny Bond on me. I did not see that coming. And you know, it's super effective. I get a critical hit. So that's really unfortunate. 
Um, the critical hit did not matter. I would have KO'd it anyway. But man, pulling off that Destiny Bond was so unfortunate. So now I'm limited to using my defensive Pokemon and a little bit of my counterplay in there and everyone else. So on that awesome double down, I'm going to go into Sylveon once again. Go for another Toxic and we poison Cofagrigus. Which is awesome because I know from experience that Cofagrigus has a lot of HP, great defense, and on top of that, he has Protect. Now, it's unfortunate for him because he's poisoned, therefore, he'll be taking more damage every single turn, but I'm going to be taking the same amount from the burn. It's a little bit different there, but that's okay. So here we're going to go for another Moonblast, and we lower Cofagrigus' special attack, and you'll see just how much an ominous wind does. That barely does anything, guys. It's like, hooray, Sylveon, you're absolutely amazing right now. But granted, he does have minus one special attack. So, and you know what? It doesn't really matter because I am burned. So I'm going to be taking a lot more damage than I would otherwise. A good critical hit on the another Moonblast that I go for. I, I don't know if that mattered, but... At the same time, it's like, you can just go into Duskinor and finish me off with a Sucker Punch or a Shadow Sneak in this scenario, which is fine by me. Angel has run its course in this match. You did a great job. The light screen wears off at the same time, so it's like, you know what, you put that up and you're going down, it's going to go down. I like that. Um, but anyway, so, I'm going to go into my logic, Claudia. And this thing is more offensive, more offensively orientated, excuse me. And we see that because Frostlass doesn't take that really well. I'm expecting Frostlass to go for a Destiny Bond because, you know, it's very notorious for carrying that move. So I go into Red Blade. I go for U-Turn instead of bullet punch, because I know U-turn is not very effective against Frostlass. But it still kills it, so that's unfortunate, because yes, we do get another double down out of this, but man, Mega Caesar would have been awesome at the end of this awesome match. So, with that in mind, we're going to go back into Claudia, go with another Surf, I know that uh, Duskinor is more physically defensive than specially defensive, if that makes sense. Because a Surf, I put a little bit of special attack in there for a Biologic to make sure that Surf and Ice Beam, I believe I have Dragon Pulse, but we don't use that move. Uh, I gave it a little bit of special attack so, that, so those moves can do more damage. We're going to go into X-Wing, the Flygon. And I'm really disappointed, just disappointed, because we don't KO the Duskinor with a Draco Meteor. And then he pulls off an Ice Punch, times four effective, and we get a critical hit out of that. Severe overkill, I must say. But it's okay, because we have Talonflame, I have Talonflame, and Claudia at the end, while my opponent has... Chandelure, and that's going to be it. So we have to KO the Chandelure, who looks very nice when it's shiny. I have one that's shiny. I use it very often, so it's very cool. Um, Braveberg fails to KO. He might have a little bit of HP investment, so that means, you know, he's going to take that blow and hang on and KO my Town Flame. Fortunately, he's Life Orb, so if he's going to attack me, he has to KO me in order to win. And Claudia survives with 6 HP, and then he goes down to the Life Orb recoil, and that means I will win this battle. So that was really close at the end there. I was like, ah, it was so much fun. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. I'm going to be looking for some battle spot videos 
because I might be done with these Wi-Fi battles. Um, unfortunately, I might not re reach 100 or us Wi-Fi battles, but that's okay. I mean, I will try and look for some more battles, but right now I don't have any more, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna just give it another shot. I'll go online, I'll see who's there to battle and whatnot. But you know what? We're close to sun and moon, it's, it's crazy. And then we'll start a new generation, a new set of Wi-Fi battles for your viewing leisure. Hope you guys enjoyed the match. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment down below what you like about this battle video. And uh, give me feedback on the narrations. Yes, I do struggle in my narrations at times. I don't speak very well in general because of my disability, but at the same time, I'm trying to improve. So, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Goodbye, trainers.